Jordan, uh, congratulations oh, on you. signing with the club. Uh, you know, how big of a deal is this, uh, you know, for you? You've been with the academy. You've seen uh, a lot of changes with this team, but, but the direction with, uh, with Ryan Nelson and Tim Bezbachenko and the signings they've already made in Gilberto uh, uh, in Jackson and now in, in Dwayne Diversario uh, coming back home. Is it exciting for you? Yeah, um, I couldn't ask for anything more, you know. Uh, they've showed faith in me throughout the years, and I've been in the academy for four years now, and I've worked my hardest, and what more could I ask for than to learn from one of the best strikers of all time in MLS in Dwayne DiRosario. Was it a, uh, a difficult decision for you to make? Because I certainly know that uh, you're, a, you're a bit of a commodity out there, and you, you, you were overseas, and you were uh, at other teams who, were, who had interest in you. But, uh, you know, it, how tough was it for you to say, you know what, uh, uh, these guys help uh, make me into the player that I am, uh, and uh, I'm going to sign with Toronto? It was, uh, um, like, it's my dream to play for my city. Mm -hmm. I was born and raised in Toronto. I love Toronto. Uh, I would hope that Toronto loves me. And uh, just the opportunities to learn from players like Gilberto, Jackson, uh, Osario, Daniil, Henry, like, because they've all went through the whole process. And I'm just, and Dwayne, I'm just going to try and absorb everything every day and become a, the player I know I can be. Is it cool, too, though, uh, when you think about the national team and what you've accomplished there at the at the different levels uh, how, how many guys are on this team that uh, you've played with, uh, with with the Maple Leaf as well or at some point in your career through camps that you know that hey Jonathan Osario, Ashton Morgan, Daniil Henry and, and now Dwayne De Rosario uh, back in the fold does it does it say a lot uh, the, the direction of uh, Canadian soccer as well? Yeah you know it's it's great and that national team experience is something I'll hold in my heart forever you know a huge credit goes to the head coach Sean Fleming, Patrick Tobo, Rob Gill, Danny Worthington, Carlo DiNardo, the whole crew. You know, that was a team of brothers. Unfortunately, we came up short in the World Cup, but I'll hold those guys in my heart forever. And the direction of Canadian soccer is clearly going up because you look at our under-17s, our U-20s, under-23s, and the new head coach, Benito, it's just a, it's an amazing thing, you know. Like Dwayne said, he didn't have the opportunity here when he was a kid. Like, we're, mm -hmm. we are truly blessed as the youth coming up in, in our home country. And the academies, Whitecaps, Montreal, TFC, yep. even though TFC is the best. <laughs> it's, it's just amazing. It's an amazing progression. All right, well, uh, congratulations on the signing and all the best uh, in the 2014 season.